How are we doing guys? Uh, thought I'd get this out quick. A little bit flustered at the minute. You can see it starts in the sweat of my head there, but you know. Uh, I've just been driving. I've just seen a, a lady uh, conked out in the middle of the road. And this is a very busy road. And like uh, she was stopping traffic with, with her car. And uh, I had to indicate to get over her. And I was in the lane beside her. And I'm not too sure how long she was there for, but people were passing her. And I thought, you know, I'm going to pull over. So I pulled over my car and I thought, you know, I'm going to give, give this lady a hand because I knew she felt stressed out, especially, you know, you're there in the middle of the road, everyone's beeping at you and there's not much you can do. So um, anyway, I got out of my car and uh, I knocked the window and I said, yeah, do you need some help? She says, yeah. So, um, you know, I'm trying to push her, but I feel as if like uh, a gearbox has went. So me pushing her, it's like I was not getting anywhere, but I was not giving up. Um, so as I was pushing, a gentleman behind... He stopped and he's got his car and so both of us are pushing and even now it's still hard to try and get this car moving um i'm pushing he's pushing she's even pushing and we're trying to get this car this middle of the road and uh eventually it starts moving and then we get a little bit on the pavement and then two ladies walking past they also came in and pushed and helped so now we've got um, we've got me, we've got the man, we've got two ladies plus the lady who driven the car. So there's like basically five of us pushing this car now. Um, so the message is today is sometimes you have to be that first person to help. Okay, um, don't wait for somebody else to do something that you can do. Now I didn't know this was lady from Adams. You know I'd have seen that that person was in dis distress. Um, I've got time on my hands and I could help. So I, I chose to basically park my car over and gave that lady that help. So now basically, even though I couldn't help get a car started, at least a car is out of the main road. So at least one bit of stress is uh, is off her plate. So again, guys, sometimes you have to be that first person. Do not question what's in front of you. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're meant to help each other. Yeah, we shouldn't have to be looking at oh, whether it's Corona or whether it's this and that. We shouldn't be looking at excuses to help somebody. If somebody needs help and you can help, give them the help, you know. Uh, and it's not even about, yeah, look at me, I'm helping. It's something that we should do. Now, like I said, I don't know how long that lady was there for in the middle of the road with, 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 with uh, everyone going past them, beeping and, and no one stopping. No one wants to give that help. So I know uh, the five of us or the four of us gave in that help and get, got, got, getting her car off the road. I know basically inside she felt good. You know, she, she, she couldn't stop thanking me. Um... And yeah, I've got on my car and I've got to my destination. So again, remember, don't wait for people to do something that you can do. Yeah, Sometimes you have to be the first person. Orish Jones, the game changer. Let's all change this game together, man. Peace.